In this video, we are going to look at the slope of a non-vertical line. All right, first of all, let's take a look at our formula for slope. Okay, by definition, the slope equals vertical change over the horizontal change. Now, um, when you take pre-calculus, you're going to see it like this, delta y, which just means change in y, over delta, which is a triangle, Greek letter delta, x over change in x. Uh, sometimes you'll see it listed like this, dy over dx. Same thing, change in y over change in x. So what does that mean as a formula? Well, y coordinate of the second point minus the y coordinate of the first point, that's the change in y, over the x coordinate of the second point minus the x coordinate of the first point. That is your change in x. Now, the stipulation for this is, or restriction, is this is where x2, make that look like an x, minus x1, or is not equal to zero. Why would that be a restriction? Well, our keywords, non-vertical line. If the x coordinates were the same, we'd have a vertical line. That means we'd have zero in the denominator, which makes it undefined. So there'd be an undefined slope. So for non-vertical lines, anything that makes your denominator zero, that means the x coordinates are the same, you can't do. Now, if we were to look at this in an xy coordinate system, oh, that looks bad. That's not that bad. <laughs> Let's just draw a circle with a line. Okay, here's our x axis, here's our y axis. Now, if I were to go from any point on this line, from here to here, see we have a vertical change and we have a horizontal change. The change in y, the change in x. Okay, we can literally count for slope, as in we can go up and over. Since this line slants down, this would have a negative slope. Um, if you notice, going up is a positive change. Going to the right would be a positive change. Going down is a negative change, and going left is a negative change. Now, why don't I give you two points and let's find the actual slope of a line. So, negative 5, 3, and let's do 7, negative 1. Okay, M is the symbol for slope. We say y coordinate of the second point minus y coordinate of the first over x coordinate of the second point minus x coordinate of the first. It does not matter which point we call first point or second point. I'm going to call this the first point. Why? I wrote it down first. No other reason. So I'm going to call this x1 because it's the x coordinate and this is going to be y1, the y coordinate of the first point. This is going to be x2, the x-coordinate of the second point, and y2, the y-coordinate of the second point. So y-coordinate of the second point, negative 1, minus y-coordinate of the first point, 3, over x-coordinate of the second point, 7, minus x-coordinate of the first point, negative 5. Negative 1 minus 3 gives me negative 4. Now, 
in the denominator here, you notice I have a double negative. What happens is that becomes a positive. So 7 plus 5 makes 12. Reduce your fraction. So we have negative 1 over 3. And there's our slope for this line that goes through points negative 5, 3, and 7, negative 1.